and as you can see I found the X. It's under the spacebar. <laughs> Supposing we have this strange device that's already that was already on our left arm when we came around the inside the meeting room of the what Antarctic base. It comes as no surprise, I don't remember anything about it. As I'm up to the can we? Dr. Faust, can you hear me? Over? Nothing. It's no use. This is where I use space to uh, see. Now we know how to properly use our axe, which I'm gonna do right now. Missed one in the previous cave. Huh? Mm, okay. An ornamental object with a metallic part engraved within a sandstone rock, depicting the elder theme figure in the center. Okay, this is a trophy. Huh? More the weird figurines. Hmm. I'm still wondering what this is about because we can see our reflection in here. That's about it. And now we are supposed to go somewhere. Let's see. Yes, this is something new. I think. Ornamental object. Everything in here is ornamental objects. 
Yeah. Well, I guess this is one way to call something that's commonly found around these parts. Still, we have no idea what those are. This stonework seems weak. A feathered mask I took from the head of the of one of the skeletons sitting silently in their eternal resting places. Signs of color that can be seen on the now solidified feathers made me think how flamboyant it might once have been. I must admit that with all the art to art work resembles me of Invariably Viewer 2, the game where you have to speak the spells for them to war. Some of the bas reliefs explored in the seemingly oldest structure, which had been weathered into shapeless ruins ages ago, we learned that these reptilian creatures were the inhabitants of this eon dead city. But while some of them were enshrouded in special coffins, these are standing still, glued to their vertical rock coffins with an awful looking ooze. Curiously, they were firmly placed in the niches on some of the walls. Curiously. Mm. These ivy-like plants are blocking the way. So we need to look for a way. Open the path. I assume. Also admit that unless we are extremely lucky, this game has had no jump scares so far. The same set of symbols we've seen in strangely carved niches all around here matches with what is written in the oldest parchment. 
I believe uncertainly that they represent a destination towards somewhere significant. You cannot assume that they represent a place if you don't know what they mean. The symbol on this stone is illegible. So I really appreciate when the game is not trying to jump you with the not trying to overwhelm you with drum scares, but instead the ambience. I don't remember this symbol. That glyph doesn't ring any bells. Mm. I don't remember this symbol. Okay, yes, this we understand. I don't you don't remember any of the symbols. Tell me you understand this one. That glyph doesn't ring any bells. Mm -hmm. One of those with different head above them, so maybe they are indeed showing different places. Or telling about different places. Yeah, but there's still that other place which we can visit. With the unfinished ring. Fit here. The crystal I have doesn't fit here. Doctor Faust, do you read me? Over. Need another crystal. No answer. Mm. Does it change the color from blue to red? So maybe it's charging, huh? If that is the case and I have an idea. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Unless it's completely wrong and I wasn't supposed to do it like this. supposed to remember all those symbols. Okay, I'll be right back. Hmm, this symbol is exactly the same with the one I saw in the vision about repetition of specific symbols within the caverns below the base. Oh, so this one you want to take. Oh, that's interesting. for that specific one. Mm. And now I'm thinking if I need to recreate it. Maybe not. <laughs> mm. Okay, so there's that and I think we are ready to go. Do we need this one? Need to hold up. Mm. Yes, this is how we charged. the reddish crystal into the steel clean tip of an auto metallic device and it fitted perfectly. As I rotated the device to its original position using the control handle, this glyph was projected onto the wall. Thank you. This is the star. Hmm. A network of blue lines and dots appeared out of nowhere, resembling some sort of a star map. But why does that dot glow in a different color than the others? This is a secret? Wait, how can I...
and friends. They are friends. Oops. Anything that's not attacking me on site is my friend. We don't want this thing. Be. So we know the symbol. Can go back through here. Vision, perhaps? Oh, I think somehow it has something to do with the intense headaches. Oh. Yeah, I suppose so. Blood? Oh. Mm. Oh, it's depleted, so we need to go back and recharge it. Yes, intense headaches can also leave, lead, leave, lead to bleeding, which could mean that you have a brain damage. Well, the end can be connected with the strange thing you are wearing. And alien technology? That's, I suppose, is not adjusted to be used by carbon-based humans. That's a thought. Okay, now let's see the thingy drawings. Z. Oh, okay. Z. No, it was like Z. <laughs> this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Give me a moment. <laughs> uh, yes, I need to draw it down. Since we cannot really use it's really upwards. This goes down here from top to bottom, and this goes from bottom. Okay. So this could be like this. Uh huh. This goes like this, and this goes like this. <laughs>
Okay, we must still don't understand why you are so persistent about turning off your flashlight. This is Frank Gilman. Can anybody hear me? Over. I suppose not. I was unable to reach anybody. And this place is so full of dust that we can barely see anything. Do we still have this crystal? Yes. So maybe let's equip this. I think at this point we are fairly deep under the water. about this place. Drum uh, sequence. No. Apparently not. A beautifully ornate metallic mask with a reptilian face carved on it. It does not indicate anything about the purpose it served in its day. Mm, it looks more insectoid to me. Maybe, to be honest. Okay, and since I do not trust this game, let's save it here before we into the water. We cannot go into the water. Hmm. Mm, this is the... This is where we came from. Is it? Yes, this is where we came from. I then proceed to destroy the wall and we can try going from here.
here we are back at the beginning. Yes, it is depicted here, our gateway out of this world. These reliefs clearly portray ancient Conarium, the thing I have been searching for my whole life. As much as I can understand, that one depicts a seemingly dead city as an ever-living organism with lots of mummified bodies connected to the device. Incredible! Uh, uh... Uh, and the other one it depicts an ancient cornarium which is connected to another one, most probably outside of this planet, or maybe out of this dimension. <laughs> My, this is just marvelous. This one, this one. Double flashlight. This getting fairly frequent. Once again we are at the entrance. be the products of my disordered imagination and nothing more. I surely hope those are mm -hmm. given nothing bad happened to you. 
yet. Oh well. Well now I'm gonna end the spot here. So thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!